and welcome to another cooking show on Cooking Up a Storm with Ian. Today I'm doing a dessert today. I'm doing lemon meringue pie. Uh, very indulgent and very nice and zesty. Um, yeah, before you um, view this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell notification so you never miss out on another video on my channel. Yeah, let's get started on the recipe. So what you need for this recipe is 110 grams of unsalted butter for the pastry, 150 grams of plain flour, extra for dusting, one tablespoon of caster sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, whisk with four tablespoons of chilled water. For the filling, you will need half quarter of a teaspoon of salt, 30 grams of corn flour, three tablespoons of plain flour, five egg yolks beaten, I've just separated my eggs, 15 grams of unsalted butter, grated zest of two lemons, I'm using four lemons because they're quite small, uh, 120 ml of lemon juice, so I will be, um, be zesting them and taking the juice out and I also have got some lemon juice here as well. For the meringue you will need four egg whites, I have separated them, so yeah. Half a teaspoon of salt, four a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, 100 grams of cast sugar, one tablespoon of corn flour. And for the special equipment you'll need some baking beans and a fluttered tin to cook the pie in. So yeah, let's get started. So the first step, I am going to combine the flour, the butter, just gonna cut that up a little bit. And this is for the pastry, so um, I'm gonna let this chill a little bit. So I'm just gonna combine the flour, the butter, the salt, You want to be careful not to overwork the pastry as well because it will become um, very tough. And the sugar. One tablespoon of sugar. So you want to um, breadcrumb this so it um, becomes like fine breadcrumbs. And I will get back to you when I have done it. So as you can see I just um, made it into coarse crumbs uh, with the butter, the sugar and the salt and the flour. So now I'm just going to add my four tablespoons of water to one vinegar. And you're doing this with two forks until it's um, coming to a ball. If it's looking dry, I will add about four tablespoons of water until it's um, not dry. So I'm just gonna get my hands in there, it's easier. So you just want to make this into, uh, knead it into a dough, uh, so it's all uh, binded together. Like I said earlier, you don't want to um, overwork pastry. So that's looking quite dry, so I'm going to just add a few bits of water, a few, um, about two tablespoons of water. But I'm just going to wrap this up now and put it in the chiller for 30 minutes, make sure it's really wrapped up well. And that just goes in the chiller for 30 minutes. So for the filling, I have got half a teaspoon of salt, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, sorry, 30 grams of corn flour, three tablespoons of plain flour, and 200 grams of fast sugar in a pan. Just going to turn that on now. Um, you need to mix all the uh, dry ingredients up. Just get in 300 grams of water. It will come clumpy at this um, point, uh, but don't worry, it will um, go. It will go uh, soft at the end. On a medium heat for five minutes. And I'm just going to stir this um, until it's thick. So this should take about five to six minutes until it's um, thick and then I'm going to take it off the heat 
and add some of it to the uh, egg yolks. Uh, you don't want to be cooking the egg yolks at this point. And that's why I'm going to add a little bit to the egg yolks so it stops the egg yolks cooking. Um, it's nearly thick. And also you want to cook out the flour as well. So I'm just going to stir a little bit into these egg yolks. I'm just going to whisk the egg yolks up a little bit. whisk it up. I've also preheated my oven to 190 uh, so the pastry can cook um, and blind bake. Still chilling in the fridge at the moment. Right so uh, moving on I'm just going to um, roll out the pastry now. Uh, so a bit of flour on the board on the surface, a clean surface. She's been chilling for 30 minutes. Bit of flour on her um, pastry. And a bit of flour on the uh, rolling pin as well. So you want to just do gentle strokes, twist it, and pick up the flour. So you want to turn it and twist it. You want it one millimetre thick, so it fits into the uh, dish. Do you want to use your pot? You want to use fingertips and roll it. And just do gentle strokes. Just want to lift it up and lay it over the pie mix, pie dish. So you want to leave the overhang um, pieces on there, and then this just bakes. Prick it, and then I'm going to put this into the fridge, 30 minutes uh, for about 10 minutes to chill. So I'm just going to prick that with a fork now. This prevents air getting into the pastry. And I'm just going to chill that for 30, uh, 10 minutes. So I just uh, mix some more of the um, mixture in what I boiled into the egg yolks. So now I'm going to add them back to the pan and return back to the heat for about five minutes. So I want to bring this to the boil, stirring frequently for about five minutes. So once this is boiled uh, for one minute, I'm just going to add the rest of the ingredients. Make it like a curd. Until combined and then I'm going to let that cool down. Right, so going back to the pastry, it's been chilling for 30 minutes, pricked. Um, you want to leave the excess um, pastry around the rim. And then just get a sheet of grease proof. And um, level all the, uh, all the baking beans over it. And this just bakes in a 190 degree oven for 25 minutes. And then I will remove the paper and lower the heat to 180 and cook for another 10 minutes. So for the meringue, uh, for the next step, uh, while the pastry's um, 
in the oven and the curd is cooling down. I'm just going to add the uh, salt to the meringue and the egg whites and I'm just going to whisk these until foamy. It would help to turn the plug on. So you just want these until it's nice and foamy and um, yeah, this should take around five minutes. I have put the uh, pastry um, case on the second shelf in the oven. And you want to make sure that uh, baking beans are completely over the pastry into the, um, into the corners as well. It weighs down the uh, baking beans, weigh down the uh, pastry so it cooks on the bottom so you don't get a sodden bottom. So the egg whites are nearly there, they're just um, foaming up now. The cream of tartar. So the um, mix. Gradually mixing um, the um, cream of tartar and the salt and the egg whites together. I just in a separate bowl, I just added one tablespoon of corn flour and 100 grams of caster sugar. So while I've got the mixer on, I'm just going to add this gradually to the uh, egg whites so they don't um, so they don't deflate. Just slowly, um, so they don't deflate. On a, uh, I've got it on a number two whisk, just uh, up very good. Really well. You want them really light and fluffy and glossy. Doing it gradually, uh, the uh, sugar and corn flour. Um, helps the sugar um, absorb into the um, meringue mix. So you see here, I'm going to add the final bit of uh, sugar so that it can stay in the bowl. <laughs> So, a little bit longer, because it's not holding. Um, not stiff peaks, soft peaks, and you want it really glossy. Sorry, you want that stiff peaks, sorry. Stiff, stiff, glossy peaks. I will come back to you when I'm done. So as you can see, I've just done it. Uh, that is um, Stiff Peaks. So yeah, it's holding on the whisk and you know it's done. I'm just gonna let that chill now. I'm just gonna let that rest now. Right, so um, it's been baking for um, it's been baking for 30 minutes, 25 minutes. Sorry, I'm just gonna remove these and bake it for another five minutes. There goes my timer. <laughs> and I'm just gonna turn the heat down to 180 and bake it for another. Right, so it's come out the oven now, it's blind baked, so I'm just going to add my filling. Wait, hang on. Put it in. Meringue. 
want this quite rustic, um, the meringue. So you just want Pick it up, um, just so it gets all them nice brown, crispy bits. And that goes in the oven for 15 minutes until the meringue is cooked. So I'll just set my timer for 15 minutes. So there you have it, I've just got the, the lemon meringue pie out of the oven, uh, it's gone cool now, uh, the meringue is nice and um, peaked up, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe, don't forget to um, click that bell notification so you never miss out on another video, and thanks for tuning in, and keep cooking guys, and stay tuned for more, see you in the next video.